hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so i'm not going to be showing anything at the beginning of the video so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it i went ahead and picked out my nail sizes and the nails i'm going to be using are the 3xl square from crafts by nine and crafts by nine is actually having a 25 percent off sale all month of september to celebrate myra's birthday um, so I will leave that down below if you guys want to check it out. I did check because I was going to purchase like more bags of these nails, but they are sold out. But make sure to keep checking them so that you know when they're in stock because these are one of her best sellers. Um, and also she do have new glitter powders, so make sure to check those out as well. You don't need a discount code for the 20% off once you add everything in your cart to check out it will be automatically applied. But yeah these are my favorite tips at the moment and I'm just applying these with my sticky glue from Kara Sky. So now that I have them on, I do want to take my nail clippers and cut them down just a little bit. As always, I do cut my thumb down a little bit shorter than the rest of them. And then for the rest, I do just cut a little bit off. I usually like my nails to be long, so I'm not going to cut them down too much. And while I'm cutting them, I do make sure they're roughly around the same length. Because once I do the application and start to file, sometimes I do file the tips a little bit more so i don't want them to be uneven so i just get them roughly around the same length and then i'll go from there and just something i like to do when i use my peel off method just to give the nails a little bit more strength i do apply some top coat on my natural nails and where i apply the nail tip just so that when i start filing the nails don't pop off as easily and then i do cure this for 30 seconds in my light And like I said, I do care for 30 seconds. Then once I took them out of the light, I did take a buffer and just lightly go over like the tips of the nails. It wasn't really necessary. It's just something I felt like doing at the moment. But so now that I am ready for application, I'm gonna be showing you guys the items that I'm gonna be using for today's design. And as you can see, I have some fall colors here. Um, so I have some browns. All of these gels are actually from um, Madame Glam. Um, the powder that I'm going to be pairing with that is Almond Dust from Double Dip Nails. And I think the browns match so perfectly. I picked out two greens for this because I wasn't sure. I was actually just deciding on mixing them together. And then I also have these. So the ones in these I actually mixed myself because I didn't have like the exact powder that I wanted to use. So the ones with the rose gold tops, these are the ones I actually custom mixed myself. And then I had two gels to pair with it because I did need them to be like powder and gel for the design I'm doing. And I'm just gonna go ahead and open them, set everything up for my application. And when I look at them, they look so good. Like, I think I did a really good job at missing these. And so I also got another powder from my shelf. This is called Velvet Teddy from Not Polish. I did need a nude. At first I was gonna use the Nude Panther that I always use, but I actually seen this one, I was like, I was just gonna swatch it. And it actually turned out to be more of what I wanted, so I did end up switching out my nudes and now let's jump right into the application of these nails at first i was kind of scared to use these powders that i mixed but the consistency was so perfect and that's because i did add a little bit of clear just to kind of balance out like the um the ratio and just kind of give it like a little bit more smoothness without taking away too much of the color and the consistency was perfect while I was using these if I was to ever like have a brand or start to like sell powders this is exactly what I would like the consistency to be because it's really smooth and like it was so easy to work with like I just felt like the ratio was so perfect even though I didn't measure anything like I just felt like it was so perfect and you see how I'm just like dragging it down but like the colors don't really separate as much like I don't really know how to explain it but I felt like the consistency was so perfect um but I'm just doing some ombres and I just did the green on the pointer finger and right when I got done with the green 
on my pointer finger um i did have to stop the camera to go get the mail because i did have some packages and what came in the packages are these new lilac frost gloves i saw another content created with them and i asked her like where did she get them and she gave me the link and y'all these are so cute usually i just go with like pink because that's what my nail room is but my favorite color is actually purple which is why i like these a lot more and then they have that frost look that is so so cute like i love them so much and before i got the actual link to these i did try to search them up on amazon but i couldn't find anything um like it was showing me different stuff but the website i did order these from is like a hair dyeing website so it's not really like for nails but i mean they're still gloves and i like them the size i have is a medium and they fit really well if you do want to check these out just let me know down below in the comments and i will go back and link them but yeah so i just went ahead and did the yellow on the tip of the ring finger and now i'm moving on to the brown um i feel like every color that i use from double dip nails is like the exact color that i want because remember when i did those like candy nails and i did the gummy worms the um blue and pinkish reddish ombre like those colors matches the gummy worm so good and literally every time i grab one of these colors is the perfect color for what i need and these double dip powders are two in one you can use them as acrylic is what i'm doing now and then you also can use them as dip powder personally i like to use them as acrylic s'more just because i feel like i'm a little bit more advanced in acrylic powders so i just use them as powders um more than dip powder but i do have a discount code which will be linked down below as always if you do want to check them out they do have a new fall glitter collection which i will be getting soon and i'll be doing a video and if you don't want to miss out on that make sure to turn on my post notifications so that you always get notified once i upload a video um but yeah this is my first fall set this year and i've seen so many fall nails so many halloween nails it just surprises me that a lot of people are skipping fall and like going straight into halloween although i do think i like halloween nails a little bit more than fall nails because when i think of fall nails i think of like th these three typical colors that i'm using some sequent fall leaves and like just like a lot of browns and that plaid burberry design that everyone does like those are literally the only designs i can think of when it comes to like fall nails but when it comes to halloween you can do so much you can do like um faces you can do blood splatters you can do dripping blood you can do like the trick-or-treat candy you can do like the little handprints you can do fingerprints like spider gel like you can just do so much with halloween so for halloween i feel like i'll be going all out but i can't really think outside the box too much for fall nails but i'm gonna try my best this year um i can't remember how many fall nails i did last year but the goal is to outdo every previous year so i'm gonna go back and look at my designs and see what i did and just see how i can improve them and yeah just continue to put out content for you guys because this is actually so fun yeah but as you can see i'm just doing a solid nude color here on my middle finger and then once i finish i'll go back and ombre the rest of the nails with this same exact nude and by the way i did just listen to like a few parts back and i realized my voice sounds so crazy like i don't know like i can't get it right for some reason like it just feels like so stuffy like i don't know like it just sounds so weird to me i know you guys always say it's fine but like i don't know it just bothers me so much or maybe it could just be because i haven't really been into like the mood of doing my voiceovers like i feel like doing voiceovers takes so much of my time and like i just feel like it's like a repeat cycle especially when i'm trying to post like two or three videos every week because i have so many packages to do like so many designs i want to try and usually my schedule would be to like okay so say like at the beginning of the week so say if i recorded a video over the weekend and i have it ready for monday i'll upload the video monday and then record a new video that same day and then tuesday i'll edit and do my voiceover and have it uploaded and have it ready for wednesday and then basically on the days that i upload i'll just go ahead and film another video just because i don't really have anything to do and i kind of been getting off schedule like i haven't really been in the mood of doing the voiceovers filming the videos i can do all day every day the voiceover part is basically what's like taking me so long and the reason i haven't really uploaded a video and also because like i feel like i don't really have like a space for myself to do it when 
I feel like doing it because usually I try to do my voiceovers in the morning and I just don't really be in the mood because I am not a morning person. Like I think I mentioned that in another video, but I am not a morning person. I would literally stay up all night like reading on Wattpad or playing PUBG or like playing The Sims, like just doing everything, watching movies, but literally step all night until like eight o'clock in the morning and then go to sleep. I'll sleep all day if I could. But like I force myself to get up because I want to film videos and get out content. But like in the morning, I just be so tired. Like I know I'm not the only one. I am not an early bird. So yeah, I think that's some of the reason of why like I haven't really been in the mood to do my voiceovers. It's just because like I don't really feel like doing them in the morning. And it's just like messing with my schedule, especially when I stay up all night. And I honestly forgot where I was going with that. So I'm just going to go back through the video. Um... I've done the ombre for all of the nails. Now I'm just doing that same process on my pinky nail, blending that down into that brown acrylic powder. So now that I'm done doing my ombres, I am going to go back and do my thumb off camera, but this is what it looks like. Um, and of course we have to encapsulate. So for my thumbnail and my middle nail, those are the ones I just used a solid nude on. As always, I do try to build up that nail with the color because I feel like it's unnecessary to go back in and encapsulate a solid color nail. So I'm only going to be encapsulating the ombres, which is my index ring and pinky nail not going to show a lot i'm just going to show like the first part of all of them because i don't want to make the video as long as it already is because this is a long one um and i did decide to speed a lot of it up not too much just enough so you guys are not sitting there bored just watching it play out in real time and also just so i can show a little bit more in less time so yeah i did speed it up and i'm just going to go ahead and finish encapsulating these nails the clear i'm using is mia secret from amazon you can find this Huge container linked down below in my Amazon storefront. So here are the nails. We have to let them dry completely now. So now that I've done my entire um, application while they dry, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this new Melanie Susie drill that they sent over to me. So thank you Melanie Susie for always supplying me with the best drills ever. They launched some new drills to celebrate their 13th anniversary of like their entire brand. So congratulations on that. And I will say like Melanie Susie has the best drills. I do believe this is like the fourth drill that they sent me and each time they send me one, it gets better and better. So that's what it looks like. It's literally so small and compact. It looks like a little cell phone. And like, I've really loved the weight of it. It's so small and lightweight. But before I show the actual nail drill, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the um, other items that came with it. So I'm starting off with the big box. One thing that I really love about Melanie Susie drills is that they come with really good quality drill bits. So these are the two I got. 
So you get a large barrel ceramic drill bit and a medium grid and then you also get a carbide bit. I love when they have that rainbow look to them. Then also you get these little things here. This is just to set it on the desk. I will demonstrate later. And then we also have this to clip onto the side of it so that you can hold the, the hand piece in there. And then as always, we get a set of more drill bits and sanding pans. These drill bits are more for like nail prep. And then we also have the mandrel drill bit in there, which is the one for the sanding bands. And then of course we have the charger adapter to charge up the nail drill. And then moving on to the smaller box. This is the box with the actual like hand piece in it. And I love this emerald green color. It's so pretty. And once like I immediately realized how lightweight the hand piece actually is, it feels so sleek. And like, I just love Melanie Susie drills. Like if you don't purchase anything else from Melanie Susie, make sure to get you a nail drill. I know they can be a little bit more expensive, but I honestly think it's so worth it. And to help with that, I do have a discount code. Um, I forget what it is, but it's always linked down below if you want to check it out. One of the features I really love from the Melanie Susie drills is that they have the lock and unlock features. So when you unlock it, you're able to take it out and you lock it. It doesn't move at all. And now moving on to the best part, which is the actual nail drill. So this is how it looks. It's so small. Like my sister said, it looks like a walkie talkie. <laughs> I thought it was so funny because like it's literally so small. It has a little clip on the back so that you're able to like clip it onto your apron or if you are a nail tech you can clip it onto like what you wear and then here's the top of it we have the on and off novel and also the speed to turn up the speed you just turn it clockwise and to turn it down turn it counterclockwise then we have the forward and reverse knob here and then also on the far right side we have where you hook in the actual hand piece and let's just go ahead and do that now so i can show you guys how it works and this drill actually goes up to 35,000 rpms i haven't seen anyone ever use it that high but it does it does have the capabilities of going that high and i tried to like turn it all the way up so that you guys can hear it But in this clip, I don't think you can hear the drill. What's mostly being heard is the fan from my new air purifier that I'm using because I am using the uh, monomer. Um, it's really quiet. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to see how it works. Also, this is the little, ses the little accessory piece. You can just clip it on the side or you can lay this one out on your desk and just have it like this. Me personally, I like the little clip on the side. I'll probably end up using that one um a lot more than the little white piece but yeah i do have a discount code if you guys want to check out any of the drills melanie susie really comes through when it comes to drills like honestly the best i've ever used so yeah i have this drill linked down below and all of the features will be on the website if you want to go a little bit more into depth so i'm just going to go ahead and start my filing so i can see how it works but before i use the actual drill i do start off with my 8080 grit nail file from panna to do some reshaping if you are still watching up to here make sure to go ahead and like the video and subscribe if you haven't already and also if you don't have your post notifications turned on please make sure to turn them on so that you get notified each time i upload a video So this is what I did before with the nail file. I'm not going to do too much because I really want to see how this drill works and performs. So I'm just going to go ahead and use one of the newer ones. Um, I do believe this is a carbine bit. Please feel free to correct me in the comments. Um, but just off top the, 
just off top of the head i do believe this is a carbide bit um so i'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on what i noticed about this when i did turn it on it actually have like a drill bit in there the rotation was flawless like i didn't have any vibrations like it was honestly so smooth and so perfect like this video is not sponsored at all by melanie Susie. J they just sent this over to me to do a review and when i tell you guys this drill is the bomb like it's so good i feel like like it was literally so lightweight like basically everything good you can say about a nail drill is this one i really like the size and weight of this one which makes it so perfect because the last drill that they sent me was like a two-in-one it was a drill and also a nail lamp using the drill on the two-in-one lamp it's kind of hard to like wrap around the back of it and i always have to like slide it up just a little bit because the piece is hooked onto the back so now i can just easily unhook that one and just use this one so i have a drill and a lamp from melanie susie and use both of them at once yeah i like it and honestly i have nothing bad to say about this drill all i can say is go check it out it works flawlessly and i absolutely love it So we're done with all of the filing here's what the nails look like i love them so much um i did go ahead and buff the surface of the nails i used the cuticle oil method just to make sure that it was really really smooth i'm going to be taking one of the crafts by nine brushes i'm using the 3d brush because i am going to be doing some 3d flowers um since like two weeks ago i have been thinking about like doing 3d flowers or something on my nails but I don't know why like i just never did it or anything but i'm taking this matte matted top coat from not polish and i'm gonna go over the solid nails these are the nails i'm going to be putting the flowers on and the reason i'm doing this before is just because i don't want to top coat the flowers so i'm just going to go ahead and lay down the matte top coat before i do that once i cure i'm going to get started on my 3d flowers and i'll just let you guys enjoy that process So I did say I was going to let you guys enjoy the process, but, but before I do, I am going to show one in real time. Like, I didn't speed this up at all. So I, I'm using my huge container to prop my nail up on because um, it was very difficult trying to, like, hold my hand up in front of the camera. So I'm just propping up my nail, and I'm taking my 3D art brush and I'm basically just sculpting out, like, the leaf. So I didn't come up with this set by myself if i haven't mentioned i'm pretty sure i haven't but this is actually a recreation set and as you can see like i'm starting to do like little lines in it so at first i was going to do that but then once i started to actually do all of my flowers it kind of just went out of my head i've done 3d flowers before in the past um like twice or three times and there's this little split that you put like towards the center of the nail to give it that effect and i didn't realize i didn't do that until like the end which was kind of disappointing because i feel like i could have made these look a little bit more realistic if i just did that but overall i do think i did a pretty decent job i do think i need a little bit more practice when it comes to getting like that same proportion of each um petal or leaf in this case these are going to be more of like leaves i think yeah these are going to be leaves instead of petals because the petals are 
a little bit more round I mean I'm just gonna do that for all of the colors so on the tip of the nail I'm gonna use this mustard yellow on the other side and so remember when it comes to like the yellow and green I did have to mix those myself so I do feel like since I did mix them the consistency was a little bit off when it came to doing the 3d flowers so that's why those will look a little bit wonky and not as neat as the brown ones um but yeah, I'm just going to do that for the rest of the nails. Once I finish doing the yellow, I'm going to add like two little green leaves just to tighten that color. And then I'll also be repeating that on my thumb. And I'll just let you guys enjoy the rest of this process until it's time to go to the next step. But if you are still watching up to here, make sure that you go ahead and like the video, subscribe, leave a comment, and make sure that you have my post notification turned on. It will really mean the world to me. And so I am done doing the 3D flowers. So this is how the nail turned out. I also did my thumb off camera, switching the colors a little bit. Um, I do think, yeah, the green and yellow need a lot of work. But overall, you can still tell exactly what they are. So I'm satisfied with it. I think I did a pretty decent job. And now it's time to bring out the gel polishes that I showed in the beginning of the video. So like I said, the brown matches perfectly. Um, the green that I'm putting down now, I feel like it matched more of the color that I'm using, but it was more of like a jelly color. So I did add a little bit of the darker green just to kind of give it a little bit more of an opaque look to it. Not to really change the color, but just to add like the opaqueness at the back. This one here matches more of the color, but it needed to be a little bit like orangish. So I just add a little bit of this color to it and mixed it and when I mixed it, I think all of these colors turned out to be so perfect. Like I am just like a mix master or something because like all of these colors are so perfect and they turned out to be exactly what I needed. So here are the three colors I'm going to be using. As you can see, they fit so perfectly with the tips of my nails and now we're going to go ahead and get into the nail art. So I'm also using another Crafts by Nine um, brush. This is the number three, which are the longer brushes. And I've fallen in love with these ever since I unboxed them on my channel and firstly showed you guys. But I'm just gonna start off by dragging my brush through the gel polish and I'm just gonna be doing like a kind of U but fancy nail swirl. And I'm gonna be doing the same design on all of the nails. But I'm going to go back and add another line and add some glitter on top of it to give it like that pop. So yeah, I'm just going to let you guys enjoy this process because it's really not much to explain. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far and I hope you guys are loving the nail design so far because I know I did. I absolutely love how it turned out. And if you are still watching, I do want to say thank you so much for sticking with me up to this part in the video. On my hands were so shaky. I was drinking some iced coffee like during this video and my hands were so much more shakier than usual. But yeah, like I said, I'm just going to be doing that same fancy U swirl on all of the nails using the matching colors. Um, I do cure them for 30 seconds before moving on to the next one. Um, before I cure, I do some cleanup, make sure it's perfect how I want. And then I just move on to the next nail.
So now that I cured all of my swirly lines, this design needs to be matte. So just to play it smart, I am gonna go ahead and do the matte top coat now instead of trying to get around the glitter. So I'm just gonna do the entire nail matte. I'm only gonna be showing one just to save time, but I did add matte top coat to all of the nails. Well, all of my ombre nails. And now I'm gonna be using these brushes and gels again, but with a twist, I'm gonna be adding some of this diamond glitter from Secret Nail Affair. Um, Secret Nail Affair has the glitters I use the most. I really love their glitters. So just taking that same color, I am working backwards since I still had the brown on the brush since I used it last. Instead of wiping it off, I just went ahead and used it and I'm gonna work backwards. But I'm just adding like another little line bleeding into the first line that I did. And I'm just gonna sprinkle over some glitter while it's still wet. And then once I have it fully um, coated, I'm gonna cure it in the light and remove the excess. And also the matte top coat really did help from the glitter sticking to the other surface of the nails. You only want this glitter to be where the nail is wet. So that really helped. And so yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna be doing. But we're not quite done though. I am gonna be adding a few more things to this nail set to make it pop. So I'll just be letting this process right here play out and then I'll come back to explain the next one. And then after that, we will be done. So we are done with this messy glitter, even though it looks so cute on the nails, it's time to put it up. And so now I'm just gonna be adding some rhinestones to the flower nails just to make it pop a little bit and give it a little bit more. So I'm gonna be adding a rhinestone like in the center of the flower to give it that flower effect. Then also I'm just gonna be adding some like scattered throughout the nail just to, like I said, just make the nail pop a little bit more. Um, So I just placed the um, gel glue where I want it to be then I'm just basically sticking the rhinestones into that wet um, gel and then I'm gonna cure. And that's basically all I'm gonna be doing to finish off this set. So 
so here we are finally at the end of the video finally i feel like this video took me forever this voiceover took me like two or three hours to do believe it or not but this is how the nails turned out and i freaking love these so much when i was looking through like the inspo to do like some fall nails i knew i had to do these um i will pop up the picture right here of the nails i recreated but this is how mine turned out and i was just so excited to like film these nails i knew they were going to turn out so perfectly because like i was just mapping out like what i'm gonna do like i think these look so perfect and with this being my first fall set this year i feel like i started off pretty good um one thing i would say i would change about these are the flower well not really change but like i just need a little bit more work i do feel like me mixing the powders had a lot to do with like the consistency of me trying to do 3d nail art um which is kind of weird because me actually applying them to my nails they were perfect but the 3d flowers did come out a little bit like wonky or whatever but i i absolutely love these um, also make sure to check out this Melanie Susie drill, the J Plus. I will have it linked down below and you can use my discount codes. So let me know what you guys think about this nail set. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.